Hello, welcome to our service of morning prayer for Saturday the 20th of June 2020. Uh, for this service you will need the video remote uh, if you're watching by video so that you can pause at various points and you'll need a Bible so that you can read the Bible readings and think about them and also so that you can pause and pray uh, if you wish to. Let's begin by praying. O Lord, open our lips, and our mouth shall proclaim your praise. On Saturdays, the opening canticle is Psalm 63, uh, which is something about the awesomeness and holiness of God and the wonder of entering into his presence. So let's begin with a well-known hymn on that subject. The night has passed and the day lies open before us. Let us pray with one heart and mind. Please pause this video as you pray yourself. As we rejoice in the gift of this new day, so may the light of your presence, O God, set our hearts on fire with love for you, now and forever. Amen. The Psalms set for morning prayer today are Psalms 41, 42 and 43. And of the three of them, 42 is the preferred if you're short of time. Here's a sung version of Psalms 42 and 43, uh, especially to try and bring out the way that they are written as one continuous song. As the deer pants for streams, so my soul thirsts for you, O Lord. 
When shall I meet my God? When my eyes fill with tears, when my ears hear these cruel words, where is the Lord your God? Lord, I remember how in days now long gone I would be worshipping in joyful song. You are my Saviour and my hope, O oh God, you will comfort and renew my soul. is cast down and the storm force is daunting me when shall I meet my God in the streets of my town with my foes shouting taunting me where is the Lord your God Lord you are with me in the darkness of night your song within me helps my spirit fight you are my saviour and my hope Comfort and renew my soul. When I'm captured and bound by the jeers of my enemy, when shall I meet my God? When I feel like I'm drowned and there rings in my memory, where is the Lord your God? Send your enlightenment and truth as a guide. Bring me to where you live so I may hide. You are my saviour and my hope, O oh God. You will comfort and renew my soul. And you may want to pause the video and read those psalms for yourself and ponder on them. The Old Testament reading is the last part of the book of Joshua. It's chapter 24 from verse 29 to the end. Uh, it tells of the deaths of various people uh, and the burials of their bones. It, so to speak, concludes the story so far. Please pause the video and read the Bible for yourself. And if you wish, you may respond to that with the canticle from Isaiah chapter 66, verses 10 to 14. The New Testament reading is taken from St. Luke's Gospel, the end part of chapter 12, verses 49 to the end. Jesus says he has not come to bring peace to the earth, but rather divisions. Please read the Bible for yourself. And we can pause with the Benedictus or Te Deum Laudamus today. Uh, here's my choice. Never cease, sending 
Ask our Saviour Christ to bring release. Tender compassion now is dawning, shining on those who wait for morning, guiding our feet into the way of peace. So let us turn to prayer. Our Heavenly Father, we remember your holiness, your separateness from our lives on earth, uh, your majesty, your power, the awesomeness of coming into your presence. Help us not to forget to reverence you in our lives, as well as rejoice in the intimacy which you have designed us to enjoy with you. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, our souls long to be with you. We acknowledge to you that sometimes things don't go so well in our lives and these psalms, which are partly psalms of lament, remind us that even when they don't, we can still turn back and find joy in your presence. Help us to do that day by day, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Father, we thank you for Joshua's work well done at the end of the book of Joshua. And we thank you that similarly you can bring each to us to the point where we can say, Lord, let your servant depart in peace according to your word, for my eyes have seen your salvation. Help us uh, to look forward to that time when we shall be with you in heaven in eternity. And help us to work for you with a glad and joyful heart in the meantime, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. And Father, we acknowledge the reality of persecutions and difficulties, of divisions uh, and conflicts uh, in our life today. But we ask for your strength and your goodness to get us through, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. There will be many things on your own mind to pray for. Please pause this video and bring them before God now. And here's a collect for this week. Almighty God, with whom we have peace through our Lord Jesus Christ, as we have been justified by faith, help us rejoice in our sufferings, grow in perseverance and character, and maintain our hope by your Holy Spirit in our hearts. Amen. Let's pray the Lord's Prayer together. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Amen. May the Lord bless us and preserve us from all evil and keep us in eternal life. Amen. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. And so may the blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon us and remain with us evermore. Amen.